All right, so today is 16 August, Monday. Let's start with gold. First of all, we're going to have a busy week. Um, in terms of volatility, uh, I said it would be like that last week as well. And as you can see, we've got that bounce happening. So now we're in this channel. We've still got a bit of room to come up. Last week, I said we'd come up to this level here. It's like a goodbye kiss. And it's done it. So we should get some pullback. Um you know, around this line, maybe we'll go a bit higher as well. Because um, this week we've got, you know, we've got some good opportunities for turnarounds. So what you want to do with gold is be patient. Um, first of all, if you're going to do any trading today, your best bet, probably around seven o'clock, we might be at a resistance. It's six o'clock now, actually, my time. So this is probably going to be a resistance. This is probably going to be a place where the market will pull back a little bit. Um, and if you want to enter a trade, wait for wait for what? Wait for the New York session. Um, so that's about it. But this will probably be a place of resistance at seven o'clock where the market will pull back a little bit until at least lunchtime, which is 1.46, let's say 1.30 p.m. my time, around 3.34 as well. It will give us some pullback. Any pullback this week to a weekly or whatever is going to give you an option to get in. And we might have a few opportunities. Like I said, it's going to be a volatile week. On the daily, so that level is still going to be, that level is going to be a good buy kiss or slightly higher. Either that one or that one there. Okay, as you can see, this is going to, it's got room to come up. What you've got to do is just match it to your PSDs. If it pulls back down here, there's an opportunity to go along. So, you know, keep an eye on your PSD. Up there is going to be resistance. Down here is going to be support. So right now you're in between. So astrology is your best bet when you're doing that. And also this is, yeah. And this is your also like slightly higher pullback. Any pullback, like I said, should be good. We had really good buy opportunity last week. So any pullback is going to be good to go along again. All right. So let's take a look at silver. Silver, same kind of thing. This was a buy zone for the month on the weekly. That level was a target, so the market bought. These levels are good to buy. You were right on an HCL1. And on the daily, you're on an HCL1 too. So this is a good place to carry on going long on this. But we're probably going to have a pullback. And that pullback should bring us back. So wait for the New York session. I would like 327, 422. We'll have some action. So at 330, 420, we'll have an energetic move, which should take us to a place where the market should start to turn around. And that should be around your 6.35 p.m. Okay, 6.35 p.m. So the market should actually retrace today a little bit at least during New York. And then it will give you an opportunity to do some trading as well. Especially the, the hours you need to look out for is actually 8.58 p.m. as well in New York. And 9 p.m., obviously, that's 8.58 is really you know pretty much 9 p.m. and that will leave the market at a place that'll take us up till closure all right so from seven till onwards there'll be some retracement let's take a look at sp5 and so same with this as well so wait for a pullback any pullback is good to go long and just use the opportunity, all right? Um, I don't know if it will come all the way back down here, 
but like I said on the weekly, look, silver, this level is good. If it pops its head down to 3049, I don't know if it will, that's 2293. 2293 is too far down. But if it does, just mark it and buy it. Anywhere on your anywhere on your PSD level. Uh, you should just go along twenty two ninety three there. Cycle SP five hundred. Now with the SP five hundred, I said we'd head up to those levels which we marked last week. And then as you can see, we had a nice fall there. So what to do with this? Let's take a look. So the monthly is still up. The weekly, we're on the line. Any line you can sell on. So we've got a new setup on the weekly. Obviously don't go selling around here. This is actually a buy level. So the market will probably pick up from these levels today and will give us an opportunity to go higher. Let's take a look at the daily. Same on the daily as well. This is what, 64. As long as we're above that, 4453, which is your weekly, right? 4453, that's right. As long as we're above here, no problem. I think this level is a good opportunity to buy. The 7 a.m. bar could do that. And also in the US, all right, 324, 22 once again. Um, so what to do with the SP500 is just trade it on the lines as usual, sell at the top, buy at the bottom until it'll break one way or another. On the daily, you can see, um, you know, like it went up there to that target, the first target, just shy off, I think and then came down. So any pull back up is going to be an opportunity to short anything down. It will be an opportunity to buy these levels. Like I said, are buy levels in order to you know, retest the tops again. At the end of the day, the trend is up. So pull back buying is a good option. Let's take a look at Aussie dollar. All right, Aussie dollar. This week, what have we got? Now, last week I said we're good to buy from these levels. As you can see, the market went up. If you're following the, the levels, you shouldn't have a drama. And look, the market sells off. This is the weekly, right? The market sells off just on that line there. So all you got to do is follow the line. So buy here, sell there. This is the weekly. So buy on the PST, sell on the PST. This has got potential to come further down or it's got potential to go up. We don't know. But if you want to buy or sell, if you do it on the line, you'll be, you'll be safe because you'll get a reaction there. If the market pops its head down a little bit more down here, that shouldn't surprise us. And on the weekly, 33-odd, 73.05, is it? 73.80. That's 33.7306, which is, I think, pretty much what was last week. Yeah, there we go. 7306, so slightly down here. So this zone is going to be a support zone. And on the daily, it's also looking like the same, 36. 72.90. So that zone is going to be a support. Should you sell until there, that would have been a good idea when the market opened. Is it a good idea now? No. What to do is this. The market will probably go back up here. So this is a good place to resell. So 73.58.60 is a good place to resell. Put your stop loss above 75 or above that. 
but don't go selling here. This is a place where the market might actually pick up to retest these levels. So try to get it in line with your PST indicator and don't just enter a trade because it looks like it's going up or down. Let's take a look at the Oz 200. Once again, we're up here. This is also a good buy kiss. You might see the market picking up from here as well. This has got a bit of a downfall here in terms of strength. So hmm, in the opening, it had a nice fall to be bought. What I do with this is wait. Until, yeah, wait, I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be a seller here. Um, this zone is also pretty much like a buying zone. So I wouldn't be a seller around here, especially on a weekly pivot. The market's still going up. Just follow the trend. Pullbacks are good to go long. Seven o'clock today is probably going to be a bit of a swing, intraday swing time. So from here, pushing back up is always an option. Uh, and then you'll just see how things go. Because if you come back up to a PSD, you'll want to sell. But look, Look at the daily setup here. I wouldn't do anything with this daily setup. Wait till tomorrow and see what happens because this is going to change tomorrow. Let's take a look at Euro dollar. With the Euro dollar, what do we have? Now, last week we talked about this level here and i said you should be going long at 30 you know you should be going long on the line and look this is what the market did last week this is where the market is this week so psd obviously was the way to go and that's exactly where the market bought and then bang we're up here we still got room to get up here um and let's let's see so this week we might be at the verge of a breakout now you can't see the bar here because it's pretty small all right it's just above the 41.63 so this is like a good buy kiss here and it's like a breakout there. Not a good bike, it's got breakouts here and here. So should you be going long is a question. And that's Friday. This should pop its head down before we go long. Because Friday went up nicely, um, on a pullback, you want to go long. Look, if the market comes back to the weekly daily levels here, then I think it's, you know, you could enter a buy position again in order to go up to these targets from last week. This week, what targets do we have? Oh, we could be going all the way up there. And that's that. So pull back in order to go up here. You know, that could be one thing. Um, the thing here is, important thing is we're a bit in, in between support resistance, right? And the middle of the channel is the most dangerous part of the channel. So what you want to do is this. You're either going to go long when the market pulls back, make it to the weekly and so forth. Do it with a tight stop loss. Um, or... You're going to wait, wait, um, and see what happens if it doesn't come down. If it doesn't come down and they start buying right on the line here, right on the line here, if they start buying from here, that's also, you know, that also shouldn't surprise us. But in any case, um, our best bet is this. Our best bet is if the market you know pulls back a little bit 
and then goes up. That's the way. Other than that, I wouldn't touch it. If it goes up, leave it, leave it. If it comes down, buy with a tight stop loss to go up there. All right, so I hope that helps. Have a good week, have a good start to the week, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Any questions, drop me a line.